is up everybody? Andrew with NQS Performance Outdoors coming to you from the basement workshop once again. For those of you that are new to this channel, it's a channel that is all things fishing. Anything from on the water footage, gear reviews, rod building, lure crafting, hand tying jigs, basically anything fishing related you can find it here on this channel. If that's something you're into, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that dang bell button so you get notified when we upload new videos. I just wanted to make a quick video to touch base with you guys, let you know what's been going on. I haven't made a video in a while, I apologize for that. I'm pretty sure this has been the winter from hell, you guys. Um, winter was brutal as far as I'm concerned. We had a stretch of days where we had wind chills that were negative 50. They weren't even allowing the kids to come to school. I had the cold that just wouldn't quit. I swear I was sick for about six weeks. Um, I did stay busy in the workshop though, so that was really good. Um, I didn't do a ton of ice fishing. The little bit of ice fishing that I did end up doing was uh, an after dark crappie bite that I kind of got into a couple of times, but you guys know filming with a GoPro, it's virtually impossible to get any good footage in the dark, so I wasn't able to generate any content out of the limit ice fishing that I did get done, so that's just the way that it goes sometimes. So what I really wanted to talk about in this video is an encounter I had with a company, uh, I guess six weeks ago, maybe two months ago now. Um, curious to hear your guys' feedback. You can let me know if you feel like I handled the situation properly or not. I feel good about the decision, but you know, it's always interesting to hear other people's feedback too. So about six, eight weeks ago, a company reached out to me on my Instagram. They told me that they enjoyed my Instagram, they'd been to my YouTube channel, and they were enjoying my content. Would I make a video for them? Well, I gotta be honest with you guys, instantly a red flag went up. I'm a small timer, I know that. Um, my Instagram is really small. It's mostly my friends and family. I post a lot of fishing content on there. Um, I don't have a lot of followers. Same with my subscription count here on YouTube. I appreciate every subscriber I have, don't get me wrong, but I also realize I'm a very small channel in the grand scheme of things, so I was a little cautious moving forward. I had never heard of the company before, so the first thing I did is I went to their website and I checked them out. I got to their website. They seemed to be legit. Uh, they're like similar to a Cast King or a Piece of Fun or Piscifun, of Fun, however you pronounce that. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with those companies. They're just kind of all the same Chinese manufactured reel with a different branding on it and you know they're decent reels for 50 bucks so I I messaged them back I said what's the catch you know and they said no catch we want you to make a video about our reel I said I responded you know I said that sounds really good um, what you know what's the next step so they basically explained to me that the next step was that I would pay insured shipping from Canada, which was $26.95 or something outrageous like that. And once I paid that insured shipping, they would go ahead and send me the reel. And upon receipt of the reel, I would make them a video and do three separate social media posts. That honestly didn't sit well with me. I felt like you want me to do something for you. Why should I pay the $26.95 shipping and handling? Secondly, how am I supposed to make a video about a reel I've never used? It's the middle of winter. So I replied to them that I would certainly be interested in making a video for them, but I felt that they should uh, cover the $26.95 shipping and allow me the time to go ahead and use that reel for a couple of months so that I could really inform my viewers of how the reel functioned, you know, how the fit and finish of the reel was, how it was holding up on the water. Just give everybody the lowdown on how the reel was really functioning. And they replied that no, they were not interested in that sort of a video. They wanted me to go ahead and upon receipt of the reel, make a video and make three separate social media posts. So at that point I went ahead and I declined. I just didn't feel like it was right. I'm here to provide information to my subscribers. I'm here to share tips and tricks, things that I help that I think will help my viewers. Um, but I'm not here to work for free for another company. I don't build this custom rod right here, which I have in progress. And contact somebody on Instagram. Tell them I'll give it to them for free. Charge them insured shipping 
and then demand a video instantly. I mean, life just doesn't work that way, in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I should have paid the 26 bucks, got my hands on the reel, and, and seen what it was all about. Let me know what you guys think there. Did I handle it right? Should I have paid the 26.95 shipping and handling for the reel, and then made the unboxing video, then used the reel for several months' time, and made a follow-up review of the reel? Or was it best that I just cut bait with the company? I feel like I did it the right way. Um, I want you guys as viewers to respect my integrity. And if I tell you about a product, I'm going to give you my honest feedback. I'm not paid by anybody. I'm not sponsored by anybody. Anything you see on my channel, whether it be my bolt, my rods, my reels, my tackle, um, either I made it myself or I paid for it with my own money. So... Um, I want you guys to know that that integrity is there. There are very few companies in this world that I would take a partnership with. There's not enough companies I feel strongly enough about to lock myself in and say, hey, I'm only going to represent this brand. There's maybe a couple of companies that I would do that for. But again, I'm so small, I'm not even on their radar. And I get that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up button for the video, you guys. And stay tuned. I've got some more great content coming your way. Um, the ice is going to break here shortly, so hopefully we're going to get some on the water. I've got some unboxings. i got the Garmin's installed on my boat, so I want to show you guys that. So stay tuned for those videos. Those are going to be a lot of fun. And again, let me know what you think about this whole uh, real company encounter that I had in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everybody. I always appreciate it. Until next time, tight lines.